Alrighty, so today is the moment a lot of you a lot of you've been waiting for. We are gonna put a hardcore stress test with the hard uh, with the heart tool line. Now this tool line is made by TTI, the same company that makes uh, Milwaukee and uh, Ryobi, along with a lot of other companies that they uh, that they own. But I did not when I first introduced these, I did not say anything. That they are crappy tools. I did not. I didn't test them. I only did this with them. So I do not know. I am not going to judge something based on something I haven't tested out. The only thing I mentioned is the white is a mistake before, uh, to, to use for tools. That's it. But we are going to test these out and see how these perform. Now I do not know. I am not going to judge uh, that these are, I'm not, these are not crappy tools as far as I know. Uh, these are, you know... They work, so we're gonna see what they do. And so uh, we have one, uh, I only have 1.5 amp hour batteries, so we are gonna see what these can do. So we're gonna do, uh, with the drill, we are gonna do a couple of tests with the one and one eighth spade bit. We're gonna do the one inch spade bit, and we are gonna time these, and a half inch uh, drill bit. I do have a three quarter inch drill bit, but I, uh, based on this, I might use that. Uh, if this uh, does poorly with this, uh, then I won't. But we are going to find out. And so please don't say that I'm doing... These tools are meant for this. It's a tool. An impact a driver is an impact. It's supposed to be uh, a powerful machine. Uh, it's supposed to be a powerful tool to drive uh, big bolts in and long screws. So we're going to see... What these can, what these can do. First, we're going to do the drill, which this is model HPDD01. It's a 20 volt uh, uh, system. RPMs on speed one is zero to 450, and on speed two it is zero to 1600. Now it is not a hammer drill. This is a regular uh, drill, so it does have a click. I like that. Uh, when it comes to the clutch, I like the click. Because you know where it's at. You know, unlike the rigid, there is no click. It's a guess. And the rigid goes up to like 110. When this is a 23 point clutch plus one. Now the truck is plastic. And it is a half inch. So, speed one. And these batteries are fully charged. Uh, you do not have a fuel gauge on them. But uh, I charge them. So, they're... they're ready to go and speed two right so first we're gonna do this and then the uh, with the impact it the model number is HP 1d01 uh, 20 volt system uh, 0 to 25 0 to 2500 imp impacts per minute and then no 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 sorry 0 to 2500 rpm then 0 to 3200 impacts per minute so we're gonna see how these do. I I am not saying that these are crappy tools. No matter what, it's a tool. It get it, it gets the job done. So let's see what these can. We're just gonna test out <laughs> to see what these can do. Alrighty, so we are gonna test out the the drill first. It is a keyless chuck. There we go. That is on, the battery is full, 1.5 amp hour battery. All right, so we are gonna time this now, like in every video that I do when it comes to verses and tests, we are gonna stop the timer as soon as this slams into the wood. All right, so three, two, one, go. What? Maybe take the battery out. There we go. I'm adding all that in. Are you serious? You gotta take the battery out again? All right. There we go. All right, that is the one inch. Next, we're gonna do the one and one eighth. Now remember, these are brand new. This is my first time using it. 
So it does not matter if I'm using, like, like this is standard stuff. This is nothing special. This is standard stuff. Because if all you use, if all you use a drill for is to drive in a couple of screws, you might as well just go, go with Black & Decker. People are going to be using this stuff for this. So we have to, so this is real. Like, this is not special stuff. This is standard stuff that I'm testing. All right, so that clears everything. All right, so three, two, one, go. Wow, that surprised me that th this did a lot better job. The one and the one eighth did a much better job than the one inch. Much better job. I'm surprised it had trouble doing the one inch. The one eighth it did, did it like nothing. All right, so for this we are gonna do for the half inch drill. We are gonna do three holes. No, we'll do four holes at once. Wow, I'm surprised it did that hole better. Awesome. That's good. All right, so three, two, one. Go. All right, so three. I forgot. Four in a row. I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Go. time it did it it did it so this was a mistake one two three and four it was able to do it all right you know what? just for the heck of it we are going to do now remember 1.5 amp hour battery and all i did was one two three four five seven holes all right so the battery should have enough life to do one more big hole and it's not and it's not even the biggest hole that I, I, I made. Alright. There we go. It does fit. With the three, uh, three quarters does fit. Alright, we're going to do one hole. Alright, so three, two, one, go. There we go. We're not timing that one. I just want to see if it can do it, which it did. But let's see what the temperature is on that really quick. Eighty-two degrees. The motor is at hottest part of the tool. Not bad. It did. It did. It did. It did the job. It did the job. Not too shabby at all. Alrighty, let's move on to the impact. Alrighty, for this test, we are going to do use Tac Life's uh, impact rated sockets. I've been uh, abusing the crap out of these. They've been extremely holding up the abuse I'm giving them. All right, the, the like I said, this uh, kit does come with. This kit does come with two batteries, so this one's full. I gotta put the other battery on charge. But first, what we are gonna do is we are going to do a four inch. Let's see how, we're we gonna time this. We are gonna see how fast the four inch lag screws, uh, four inch lag screws go in. These are half inch, so let's see what it can do. All right, so three, two, one, go.
and there we go. There we go. Now we're gonna do the six inch and see how long how long this takes. All right, so we got the there is no speed adjustment. It's a variable trigger. So I gotta just pull, then you're you're good to go. All right, so three, two, one, go. And that's where it stops. This is, does not have the power to drive in a six inch lag screw. So you need to watch the label. So let's do it like that. All right, watch the label. It's a barely, barely moving. So if you, you keep doing that, you are gonna fry out the motor because it, can't, it can't do it. Uh, I'm not sure if it has more power with uh, the four amp hour battery but the 1.5 is not capable of doing it. Let's see if it could take them out. Start with the four inch power. Uh, sorry, start with the four inch. We're gonna do these both at once, uh, one time. So three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, so this did fail to put in the six, uh, six, uh, six inch lag, and uh, and yeah, but that's all right though. It did the four inch. It, it, it took a little bit of time, but it did it. So that's a, with a one point five amp hour battery. Like I said, I do not know if it would be better with a four amp hour battery that they make because they, they do Hart does make one. So, so yeah, that pretty much concludes this test and. Uh, and yeah, they're for the price. They these are these are they're decent tools. They they're they're able to do the job. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, doing more powerful jobs, I do suggest uh, diff a different brand. But for the average DIYer, you know, there it's actually a decent it, it's a decent brand. It, it's capable of doing uh, tasks. Now we are going to do versus videos on time with other brands, uh, including Ryobi, Rigid, Milwaukee. The wall and tack life against these and so uh so yeah i am going to get more heart heart tools to do those versus videos as well so yeah but it, it's not it's not bad it's not bad so yeah but they are decent tools they are decent tools now i'm going to put these batteries on charge uh and yeah but that's pretty much it so this has been the demonstration of the heart line of the brushed uh, drill and the brushed uh, imp quarter inch hex impact. Now they do make brushless versions of these, which I'm assuming those will be more, a little bit more powerful. So we'll get those as well and do some uh, test videos on those. So. so that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.